hello hello again so we have Eiselberg test center on our left hand side and I'm getting out of the Fleming way so left. end of the road we will be turning left oh I'm not <laughs> I just stopped on the side and can you believe I forgot my seat belt what a silly me I am so hungry honestly we were thinking of going for breakfast now but then we decided okay let's make one more route and it's just driving me crazy that I haven't had any food so from this first roundabout we went ahead first exit and then we are soon going to approach another roundabout ahead of us and uh, Aisha where are we going from that roundabout ahead ahead second exit yeah same okay. on Wharton Road okay Ahead is first exit. Uh, oh, I was watching somewhere else. Sorry. Have we done the roundabout? That yeah, the first oh, roundabout. The first one is gone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, she was looking okay. at the phone. Okay. That was fast. Mm -hmm. So, on the second roundabout, yeah, where do you on, want me to go? Yep. Yeah. On the second roundabout, we'll be turning left, first exit. Okay. So you see, there are plenty of routes uh, coming uh, on this road, especially. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, they are taking on this road. So make sure you practice enough over here yeah. at different different times because traffic condition you see is now changing. You see, even it's Saturday, and it's yeah. It's now it's be... getting uh, like uh, quite busy. Yeah. So first exit left on that roundabout. When we turn left, that road pulls. So I actually just stopped suddenly. The reason is the learner actually pulled in. Okay, so now from this roundabout, I'm taking the first exit to the left. And as you can see, a lot of cars are turning. But now nobody is coming to this side. So I'm just going to take the road to the left. So this is still Wharton Road. We will turn the right, uh, not from this road. This is no entry. Please make sure you check. Yeah, check your signs. Check your sign boards so you don't end up in a wrong turn way. Turn right from here. Okay, so this is Hall Road. We are turning right on Hall Road now. No, no we are turning right on Heath Road. This is Hall Road. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I told you guys I'm hungry. <laughs> okay, so Heath Road. We are turning into Heath Road. Yes. Pull up on the left, somewhere safe. So now we move off again. I'm gonna do all my checks, including my blind spots. This road is 20 as you can see on the ground the speed limit is there most of the isle route are 20. so we carry on on this road and up to the mini roundabout okay They can make you stop on this road plenty of times, maybe on the right, maybe on the left. Maybe they can perform a maneuver with you on this road. Okay. Yeah, if they ask you to pull up on the right, then obviously that is to get you to do the maneuver, which is reverse two car length. And remember, in every maneuver, it's actually your responsibility to check if somebody is coming or not. And now you can see there's a roundabout ahead of us, and we are just follow the road. Ahead, we are going second ahead, second exit. So the van was coming quite fast. That's the reason I gave way.
still we are on Heath Road. At the end of this road, we will turn right. Especially over here on this patch, there are lots of meeting situation and always parked cars on the left. So as soon as he's gone, I'm gonna quickly move off. When buses, you know, buses come on this road. Oh yeah, really? <laughs> <laughs> Turn right at the end of the road. Have a van coming from the left hand side. So I'm stopping for him. Now it's clear, and I'm just gonna quickly go. Okay, now we will follow the signs to Hanworth. Following the signs to Hanworth, which, which is, is to the left. To the left, yes. So I'm gonna position my car into the left lane and just behind this British Airways staff shop. He's turning left as well. Yes. And we are turning left as well. Road speed is changing to 30. 30. Yes. Finally. Yeah. Honestly, I get so tired of that 20 speed limit. No, bro, you stay. Thank you for understanding my feelings. <laughs> this is Hanworth Road. Again, I'm going to tell you, any vehicle in front of you is braking, get off the gas. If you need to brake, then brake. But make sure that you're aware of that, that they are braking. Because they're not braking for no reason. I mean, sometimes some people can brake yeah. for no reason. But still, if, yeah. if, they are, uh, if they're braking, brake, yeah. yeah, make sure that you get off the gas. follow the road ahead okay so we'll stay on Hanover Road seriously is there no grits no grits <laughs> <laughs> it's very hard to find something to eat in Iceland <laughs> in Iceland it's so congested but I don't understand why it's so like um, busy I think we don't know about it. maybe there must be something Speed, no. you have seen that it's changed to 20. Yes, so there's parked vehicles on the left, so we have to be careful just a meter away from the parked vehicle. Then check your middle mirror, left mirror, get back into your lane, and then parked vehicle again. So, middle mirror, right mirror, and start overtaking them again.
there in Isleworth, uh, this kind of roads are very common, where you have seen white solid lines. Yes. What does and it mean, bridge. guys? What does white solid line mean? If you want to know, comment. <laughs> <laughs> no, let us know if you know that or not. Yes. In the comment <laughs> below. So that is the question of the day. Can you overtake anybody on a solid white line? Can you overtake anybody? No, any motor vehicle. <laughs> okay, so where are we going? On the mini roundabout, we'll just follow the road ahead. Okay. So it's gonna be the second exit ahead. Okay. Now, could you please follow the signs to Hamptons? Hamptons. Why are we so quiet? <laughs> Why are we so quiet? I think we got a shock that we couldn't find anything to eat. So we are in shock. Yeah. I am really hungry because I woke up <laughs> five o'clock. <laughs> I woke up five o'clock as well. And we started our routes um, around, around six, six o'clock. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. And it's 8.52 now. Just to remind, we will follow the signs to Hamptons. 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 Okay, we carry on ahead. That's it. Okay, and this British Airways staff shuttle is blocking just... our view. <laughs> yes, exactly. I mean. I think I want to pull up on the left somewhere safe, so... No, it's alright. It's alright? Yeah. 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 Oh, he's turning now. Okay, so we are still following the sign to Hanworth? Hamptons. Hamptons. It is left to you. Okay. I'm not a fan of British Airways. I think the service is really bad. I don't like it. Yeah, I don't like it. But it goes um, direct to Pakistan. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know, I like uh, Emirates. That's yeah, Emirates, my favorite. Yeah. They have class, honestly. Obviously, but uh, I prefer going directly. Yeah. <laughs> because I have very small kids. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> okay, so from the traffic light, we are going to turn left. So I'm going to signal now. Just signal like around uh four five car length before don't signal too early you don't need to do that and then and we have entered into hampton road west okay now uh, you can start following the signs towards central london central london which is from the roundabout left first exit These videos are going to help you a lot, trust me. Yes, yes, and yes. <laughs> make sure you check, yes. watch again and again. And if you like our videos, make sure that you share them with your friends and family, whoever is getting close to the test and whoever is taking lessons because these videos are going to help them as well. Okay. So now we are getting close to the roundabout. Central London. Yeah, so we are following the signs to Central London. 
which is first exit to the left. It's a very busy roundabout. Be it's, careful. Yeah, it's when not you traffic move, controlled. Yeah, exactly. It's not traffic controlled. So when you move into the roundabout, make sure you're fast and you take the road quickly. And then you the need speed. to make sure that you check the zebra crossing properly. So the speed limit over here is 40. 40 and it's a slip road. Yes, it's a slip road. So obviously we don't have the priority so we are signaling right and keep checking our middle mirror and then our right mirror sometimes you know we have to check the uh, shoulder as well yes shoulder. exactly otherwise you can miss something which is very close yeah. to your car exactly. and that is the most dangerous part of the slip road so make sure you practice enough yeah uh, how to march from a slip road so check your signs it says it's giving you a sign of a roundabout and saying reduce your speed now. Yep. Which exit are we taking, Aisha? Central London. Okay, Central London ahead. So now again, I'm just going to stay a little away from this car. The reason is I'm going to show you, look, now this lane is becoming wider. And if it becomes wide, you can just guess that it's splitting into two lanes. And it if, was a very good idea because left lane left only. Yes. It, it was a great tip. Yes. Because if this is the hardest part yeah. when we are approaching the roundabouts, yeah. we are not sure. Students which are mostly confused that, oh, how do I know that the lane yes. is left turning only? If it is getting wide, guess that, okay, now it's going to split into two. Mm -hmm. And the reason why it's splitting, that means the left side is going to left turn only. So we are going to stay in the second lane from the left hand side. Did you see the car in front of me, the silver car, silver Jaguar? He literally moved from lane to lane without any signals. And I bet, bet maybe, he didn't check. Yeah, maybe because <laughs> there, is, there is a learner on the left hand side. Yeah, oh yeah. Many people do not want to stay behind to a learner car. Then they try to overtake. If you are a learner, then you must check your centimeter. Make sure no like people if they are overtaking to us. Um, make sure you are just checking, and you know already that they are going, they are coming because if they go into overtaking, then they will come back into front of us. Yes, exactly. You know, I had a situation once. A uh, car uh, pulled up uh, on our right hand side, so towards the learner, and he said to the learner he asked the learner oh so you have the l plate is that for uh, is that like um, saying loser oh wow. and my student looked at me and she was like i said tell him it's for him <laughs> <laughs> and she told him it, no it's it's for you <laughs> and he was like he was like upset and I, you should not bully a learner like that and the learner should be able to answer back yes or very sad but fact response yeah. exactly because nobody should take bullying okay so this road is actually a316 mm -hmm. and um, I'm glad we did this side because I like these uh, roundabouts. Yes, yes. I yes. love making videos on roundabouts and you know my favorite favorite test center to make the videos on is Yedding, <laughs> Yedding test center. <laughs> That's my favorite test center. I know it's hard but I love making the videos. Yeah and now we will follow the signs to be 10 which is first exit left of the next roundabout. We are turning left of the next roundabout. Okay. You see, this time the right lane split in two because the most right lane is right turning only, and from this lane we can go ahead and turn left. Okay.
once you turn make sure you check your lane marking properly on the traffic light we will go ahead okay so and i'm gonna stay position my car into the right lane because the right lane is going ahead as well and it's going right as well but the left lane is left turning only so this is Witten road Now we are at Rugby Road. Okay. That's the stadium on the left. Stadium. Rugby Stadium. So the biggest is Rugby Stadium. So again, the question for today is about the wide solid line. On the roundabout, we will take um, uh, first exit on the left. Okay, so the question you were saying is about white solid line. Okay. So, what's the meaning of the white solid line on the road? Yeah, so at the moment, you can see the lane over here. That's a white solid line, yeah. double white solid line. What does uh, it in mean? In the middle of the road. Yes. So let us know in the comment below what that means. How should we answer? In the description or in the next video? I will answer in the... We'll answer and we'll pin it. We can also say uh, answer in the next uh, video. Yeah, in the next video. Uh, if we don't, then remind us. <laughs> yeah. So sometimes you do get into the situation where the person is like literally not giving you way. That just means just stay slow. If they become dangerous, then stop. so horrible yeah on the roundabout turn right oh my god my poor car <laughs> and trust me i'm driving a 4 by 4 and still it's like the road is so horrible it's bumpy yeah it's way too bumpy Has the speed limit at 20 and this is called Paul Road. Paul Road. So as you can see, I mean Eisenberg Test Center is quite congested and um, Still, there's a high demand for Isleworth. People try to get the test in Isleworth. But trust me, if you are living somewhere far, don't get to Isleworth. The reason is you'll spend a lot of time just getting to the test center. So you should think that um, get more practice in the nearest test center where you are instead of like spending more hours in the lesson in the traffic so we are turning right from the roundabout as Aisha think I'm just gonna give instruction to myself and <laughs> I did that 
Yeah, she's um, just like, don't care anymore because she know we are near the test center now. <laughs> and she know <laughs> I'm just gonna go so, back. So intelligent. <laughs> So lots of humps. And I think this is going to be the last video of the day. Today. Yes, please. Because Oops, that can happen. Yeah. A learner in front of you um, rolled back and stalled the car, but that can right. happen. That's so. why we ask for a safe care. Yes, which is very important, especially in the test and normal, normally as well. Yeah, yeah, normally as well. Otherwise, you'll keep paying other people's claim. Yeah, and it <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it would be your fault. Yeah, exactly. Okay. There are plenty of more videos are coming so just keep checking and you know you can put uh, requests as well yeah which test center you want to see yeah and other things uh, like we can make videos on different different um, yeah we can even make videos in scotland because we yeah. would love to travel there <laughs> <laughs> Like if you want um, a roundabout video, if you want a maneuver video, then uh, yes, let us know. Anything specifically you want, then we can we can just make the videos on that. Exactly. And now we are going to turn right on Fleming Bay back to the Eisenwood Test Center. And guys, this is the last video for today. It's saturday 26th of march <laughs> <laughs> the time right now is 907 and the year is 2022 <laughs> <laughs> okay and what so, is my age let me mention <laughs> make sure that you hit the like button subscribe to the channel i'm actually just gonna pull up on the left instead of going to the right yeah so yeah. make sure you subscribe to our channel don't forget to hit the like button click on the bell notification so you don't miss any of our videos and 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 share our videos and let us know in the comment below what the double uh, solid line white solid line in the middle of the road means okay and that's it we will be back with more videos for different test centers let us know which test center you want us to cover and yes Yes, right? Yes, definitely. Okay. definitely. Perfect. Look after yourself. Thank you so much for watching and uh, see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>